Hey everyone, welcome to the Spring Festival playlist. As usual, I will show you the Forzaton, what you need to do, and also the cars that we've been using in the seasonal. Now, as you can see, the last few videos, I've been showing my club members design and tunes, and also to promote them. And I would like everyone to also support them and download their tunes and design to help them out. Okay, so let's have a look at the Forzaton of this week. Now, the first thing we need here is we need to own and drive a Mini. Now, as you can see, the guys are using all different kinds of cars. I see uh, Killian and Yeti are using the 2018 Countryman, E8, Corvette Man and myself are using the 2009 um, Mini and Tom Steff is using the 2012 Mini. So you can download their designs and tunes if you like. Now, what do we need to do? The first thing we need to do is win two road series events. Next, we need to win three dirt series events and then we need nine stars in total of speed zones. So that are combined, even if you do it nine times and you have one star, that will count. Now the Fortaton shop, that's the nice Hoonigan RS2, uh, RS200 Evolution. That's a very grippy car. You can use it in several classes. It's, I, I really like the car. Now then this is the Ferrari, the 250 GT. We also have a beanie. I got a lot of fashion, boots, and of course we got the super wheel spin and the wheel spins. Okay, so let's have a look at the weekly challenge. We need to win two road series events. Now, as usual, I make blueprints and here at Mudkickers we got road and also the dirt. So what you need to do, you go to this road series event, you check for custom or you search for the gamer tag and then you can see easy for the Tom. It's made that you can use every mini you like as you can see. So what you need to do, the drivetars will be guided to the left and you just need to drive straight. Also the difficulty doesn't matter if you put it on new racer, expert, unbeatable, all doesn't matter now. I know before I said that you need to have this or you have to do that, but with the blueprints that we can create it really doesn't matter. So you just drive straight, it takes like 6 seconds if you don't hit the drivetar. And you need to do this twice. So in about a half minutes you have the second weekly done. Okay, let's go to the third. The third one is we need to win three times a dirt event. And like I said, it's also located at Mud Kickers. So we're gonna do that one time but you just need to do it three times. It's the same blueprint. You just drive straight and that's it. That also takes like six, seven seconds, I think, that it is, this one. Again, you can choose any mini you like. And I will show you quickly this blueprint. Once again, the difficulty doesn't matter. As you can see, the game tells me to make it harder, but it doesn't matter. Here again, gravitas go to the left. You just drive straight and that's it. Takes five seconds. Need to do that three times. So in like less than two minutes with the menus and all, you have done this one. Now for the last weekly challenge, we have to get 9 stars from speed zones. That is combined, so if you got like a speed zone with only 2 stars, it doesn't matter. You just keep doing it till you got the 9 stars. I take the one that I took last week. I'll quickly show you here. It's this one at the city. So you just start here. And it doesn't matter. Just hit the wall at the end. 
it's just a speed zone for the weekly so it doesn't matter very much you just need the speed there you go and that's a three star one so it's located here at Arthur's seat okay that's the weekly challenge we done so far now we will go to the over over hyped Apollo that you can win from the trail everybody's been going crazy on the auction so let's have a look at the trail we need to have a hypercar in S2 class I'll show you the car I used I'll go back to the guys they should be still at mud kickers so they can show their cars what they used also so guys get out the hyper cars that you used when we did the seasonal so here the favorites and then we go to hyper cars and this is actually the car that I used the Lamborghini Centenario 2016 I'll get it here it's a pretty good car it has uh, just know the drivers are acting acting up again in this trail so that's a little bit of a problem and it's also raining so that's never good now I can't get in the convoy since I don't get messages um, give me one second guys I'm gonna join the convoy so yeah Microsoft or whatever just fix this Xbox app as you can see this is very annoying also on the live streams it's always a pain in the ass to get a convoy or actually this or actually that so please fix that we would appreciate that so for the trail we need the hypercar s2 i took the lambo centenario you can download my tune and let's have a look what the other guys did because we did everything in a convoy that's always easier and faster to do there they are I see that Tom Steph is in the La Ferrari Corvette Man. Let's have a look. Is in the Pagani Zonda Roadster. Killian is in the Noble, and Yeti is also in the La Ferrari. And EA84 also used the Centenario. You can download the designs and tunes from the club members. I would appreciate that. now what are we getting from this well this is the car that's keeping us busy for weeks now it's also been blocked from the auction for a week or two weeks i don't know i can't remember but this here is the apollo everybody wants and it's i don't know it's not tuned yet so i don't know how it drives but they said it has like the most downforce or something or what else is this car that they said no that was probably the Ferrari so here we can see the Apollo that everybody been looking for we all got it now I see several designs and probably also some tunes from this trail and this car okay let's go to the next one the next one we have playgrounds now at the playgrounds we can win the Gimkana 10 Focus. We need a Rally Monster, an S900. Now the car that I used, I go to Favorites, S1. And then we go, oh, let's go. I'll just go quickly to the Hoonigan. There you go. This is the car that you can actually get from the Forzaton shop. If you don't have it, I recommend you to actually get it because it's really good. Now here, as we use this on playgrounds, uh, I can tell you this car has been tuned for weeks and weeks since we did the rally championship for 16 weeks. And we also tested this car, so it has a lot of uh, tuning on it. Also very nice designs from the guys here in the club. Uh, I see that 
uh, Yeti is using the Ford Capri Forza Edition, so you can also use that car for the playgrounds. It was uh, an easy one. Now, the car that we win is the 2010 Focus. Now, to be honest, aren't there two? Yeah, there are two of them. Now, is this the 2016 or the 2017 that we win? Do you know that, guys? Can you put that quickly in Discord chat? Because I actually didn't check when I won the car. Is it 2016 or 2017? Ah, it's the 2017. Thank you, Kimmy, my pretty assistant. So, this is the car that we can win. I'll quickly show it. From the playgrounds. This car has been in game for a long time already. So if you want to use it, you can also download the tunes and designs from everybody here in the video. There you go. Now, what's next? Grand Tours. Now at the Grand Tours, we win uh, uh, the modern race helmet, a white one. Now what do we need? An A800, a GT car. So let's have a look. I actually had to download a uh, buy a car because, well, my club members will laugh, but a few weeks ago I deleted like more than 100 cars. And they still think it funny that <laughs> I need to buy new cars for this. So I used the 2010 Maserati GTS. The tune is available. I don't have a design for that. Because it's probably going to be used one time. And let's have a look what the other guys used. So I see that Tom Stav is using the 2017 Bentley. Corvette man is using the Jaguar XKR 2012. Killian is using the Jaguar F-Type. Yeti is using an Austin DBS GB. And EA is also using the 2017 Bentley Continental. So you guys can pick the car you prefer and download the tune for it to have more variation that you can actually choose cars from. Now, I won't show you the helmets because this is not a fashion show, this is a racing game. Now, let's have a look at the Seeing Red. Now, the Seeing Red, that's pretty easy. It's a 2002 Ferrari 575M. I'll quickly get the car. I had to buy it from the auto show. How much is it? 140,000 credits also here the guys have tunes and designs for it so you can pick a tune or a design from the guys and see what you like now the car that you can win from this one is the Ferrari uh, let's see where is Ferrari I always have to look for Ferrari, I don't know why, but that is the 599 GTO. So this here is the car that you can win from seeing red. I made my car blue because it said seeing red, but this here is the car that we actually win from this championship. I don't know if the guys got the tune or design already from it. But you can check it out if you like the car and support my club members. Okay, let's go to the last championship. The Super Saloon Slalom. So we need an A800 Super Saloon. Now, what do we win from here? I think that was uh, just a normal wheel spin. Also here I had to buy a car again since I deleted all my cars. Uh, let's have a look. Super Saloons. 
Well, for some reason, it's not showing in my favorites at this moment. But I definitely used the BMW. Oh, it's not in my favorites. I'm sorry. So I used the BMW M2 for that. Now let's have a look what other guys used. I think Tom Steff used the 2008 BMW M3 or the Cadillac Limo. Corvette Man used also the M2. What did Killian use? Let's have a look. Killian used the 2017 Porsche Panamera. Yeti used the Volvo V60. And EA84 used the 2013 Cadillac Limo. So we had a funny race with uh, the two limos and the other guys. But here it just win a wheel spin, so that was nothing impressive that we get. Okay, that were the championships. Thanks guys for showing the cars. So the people that are watching the video have more variation to actually download a tune or a design for a car instead of always mine. Okay, so let's have a look at the PR stunts. I'll just put my filters off. Um, at the end of this, I will show you also the 50 and 80% cars. So if you guys can take them out in a few, then I will show you if you got designs or tune for it. Now here we need a certain speed. I'll quickly have a look. I always take my muzzler. I don't know why, it's just such an easy car to actually do everything like this. Uh, this is the road version. I need to change the I always change the colors, road and dirt, because otherwise I'm... I, anyway, I picked the wrong car then. So you just need to put this car, I think, in fourth gear that I did it. And as you can see, the car goes very fast and you get it uh, very easily done. Now here at also you need to do a jump. I just use the same muzzler. To be honest I had to do it three times because this one has racing tires on and not my dirt tires. So I just put it on fourth gear or just start in the gear you want or if you are on automatic. Just start slowly. Just watch out for the tree. I kissed the tree the first time, but as you can see, you can easily do it with the muzzler. I even got a new PB by that. Uh, the third one, where are you the third one? Ah, here it is. This is a speed zone. I actually also used my muzzler. Since I'm on simulation and everything off, it's not that easy to handle it. But you can actually get the speed that you need with this muzzle. You just need to brake a little bit on time. Now it's not raining, but you see I'm sliding a little bit. But there's such so much acceleration that you can easily get it. There you go, that's almost 250 kilometers an hour. And then you got the PR stunts. Okay, I'm gonna show you the two cars at 50 and 80% that we are getting. Um, checking out where the guys are. Are they still at mud kickers? Let's have a look. They should be still here. No, I don't see anyone. Okay, I will show you quickly the cars that we get from the 50% and the 80%. So at the 50%, we're gonna get this Buick. Uh, let's go to the Buick. There we go. So this is the one that are we 
gonna get from 50% you can get this one very easy I didn't try this car yet so but this is the one for 50% I will also show you quickly the car that we get at 80% and this the BMW M5 the old one this one that's not a new car that car has been in game for a very long time but that's a pretty cool car I have that tuned because I used to own an old BMW 745 now I said last week and also I made a post this Monday that on my live stream on Saturday and I will keep my word word excuse me I will be selling 24 Apollos on Saturday on my live stream it's probably gonna be very hard to actually snipe them on my live stream since it's like I think this car is has like the most sniping car from the game that I think there was it was crazy to actually get some Apollos but as you can see everybody wants it and I keep my word I will auction 24 Apollos for very cheap now here there you go these are the cars that we can actually win the Apollos and the Buicks are the new cars from this game now as I always say try to do the convoy on Saturday we will help you guys out the trail was not so easy the dravatars are being very weird again pushing you out and stuff like that but we will help you and get ready for 24 Apollos on the auction maybe some more probably the club members will put also some Apollos on the auction so spread the word it's gonna be a Apollo fest okay guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and it helped you also with more cars that you can use for the seasonal or the Forzaton I will catch you on Saturday on the live stream with the big Apollo auction fest okay guys thanks for watching and I will catch you later bye bye